how do you dispel the public perception that if you are a celebrity or a professional athlete, you get preferential treatment in a situation like this? Look, I see, this was not a choice uh, for us on of which American to bring home. That was not the choice. Uh, it was a choice between bringing home one American or bringing home none. Uh, we would have uh, preferred, of course, of course we would have preferred to see them both released. That's what we've been calling on. That's what you've been hearing from me and the president these past uh, this past year. But we did not want to lose the opportunity uh, before us to secure the release of one of them. This morning, she said she was thrilled for the release of Brittany Grinder, but she's disappointed that neither the president nor Jake Sullivan met with her or her family. Can, so, you, can you say the name one more time? His name is Ahmad Shagri. He's mm -hmm. an American-Iranian mm -hmm. hostage. Mm -hmm. um, so some people accuse the White House of double standard. Uh, why till now she was unable to meet with anybody in the White House? And um, what are you doing to release Americans who were held in Iranian jail till now? You're talking about uh, uh, Abraham Amaldi, or are you talking about someone else? I didn't hear the name. His name is Imad Shagri. Okay. And his sister is called Neda Shagri. Okay. Um, so, look. I, I don't know that case specifically, so I can't speak to it from here at this time. I would have to check. Uh, I, I would also refer you to the State Department uh, to get an update on that particular uh, particular situation. Well, back on Mark Vogel for a second. Um, he's doing a 14-year sentence for less than an ounce of cotton. Would you say he's been wrongfully detained? There's some long law makers want to classify it that way. Again, I can't. I, I can't speak to uh, uh, any individual specific case uh, at this time. I, I would refer you to the State Department. Everyone has a different classification. We want to, we want Americans to know uh, that their safety and security is among our highest priorities. Again, I, I don't want to get into specific uh, specific individuals from here. You were asked previously about the security assessment regarding Victor Boot, and you said that the United States would stay vigilant. It sounds like the administration still sees him as a security threat. No, we're saying uh, the question is, and the question has been. Uh, um, uh, place to us is do we have security concerns, right? Uh, and what we have said is that the president uh, did not make this decision lightly. Uh, just want to make that very clear. But he believed this was the right thing uh, to do to secure Britney's uh, release. So you, you still have security concerns? I, I'm not going to, I'm you know, I'm not the intelligence committee here, uh, uh, so I'm not going to get into any intelligence. You mentioned that Brittany is a part of two communities, the black community and the LGBTQ plus, LGBTQ plus community. Um, there were, obvious, as you know, many advocacy groups and civil rights organizations that were rallying for her. To what degree was that helpful or impactful to the administration's work to bring her home? So look, I will just refer to you uh, to what Sherelle said. Uh, Sherelle Greiner uh, said at the at the podium earlier today, right in the Roosevelt Room, and you saw her speak to uh, to uh, the folks outside of her network, outside of the administration, who were who she uh, applauded and thanked for their support. Uh, and uh, yeah, you know, does that matter? Of course, that matters.